Good morning, reefing peoples. Let me show you something kind of interesting here. This is one of my fish only tanks, and I'm always doing different kinds of studies, which I wouldn't dare do in a reef tank. And th and and this one so, so it it has really surprised me. This is one of those old uh, Aquion, the Proflex tanks, which has different the partitions in it. You can remove the partition and put it back in. Uh, it was all busted, so I got it for free. <laughs> that doesn't surprise anyone. Uh, and what I had in here for a really long time was this section was an algae scrubber. Okay, here's what it used to look like. It would grow every type of nuisance algae that I've ever seen. Green, brown, red. It, it really did a good job of growing things that you didn't want. So I had uh, the Tunzi uh, refugium light in here and I had some dry rock in there and I just grew tons of nuisance algae and yanked it out by the gobfuls and, and threw it away. And then I got sick of cleaning the damn thing. So I said, hey, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see what happens if I temporarily stop using that, but keep using my no-pox. So I was using no-pox and I had this algae scrubber, the section. So I cleaned it all up, I moved my protein skimmer over here, and it's been, I'm really not good at record keeping, but I think it's been four weeks since I did that experiment. And I tested it, I do remember testing it, I wrote it down. The <clears throat> nitrate and phosphate on this cheap, the test kit, which is what I use for my, my fish only tanks, was undetectable. So I had undetectable nitrates and phosphates on that cheap test kit. So four weeks later, I just uh, tested this tank. The nitrates are up to 10 and the phosphates are up to 0.25. So <laughs> my conclusion is what I was doing with nitrates and using this as an algae to scrubber was really working. Now what I'm gonna do is double my no-pox dose. So I've been dosing one milliliter per gallon. So I've been putting in approximately five milliliters per day. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to update, uh, uh, increase that to 10 milliliters. Then we'll see what happens. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, here's the second part of this experiment. Uh, so it's been two weeks, and in those two weeks, I have been adding 10 milliliters of nopox per day and uh, there is no algae scrubber on. And uh, from two weeks ago, I got 10 on the nitrates and uh, this lowest number here, 0.25 on uh, the phosphates. The nitrates are definitely less. Uh, this is half of what it was. So this is either five, between five and zero. It's in there somewhere. The phosphates, I can't tell much difference because of this test kit, but it does look a little lighter than that, but not much. Okay, now this is confusing, so I'm gonna do a timeline. Okay, this video has gotten confusing because that's how my brain works. So I did a timeline here. So we've got time, we've got the algae scrubber in use or not, the amount of no-pox I'm dosing per day, my NO3 reading in parts per million, my PO4 reading in parts per million, nitrate phosphate. Okay, at T equals zero, the algae scrubber was running. I was dosing five milliliters per day of no-pox, and I was getting undetectable readings on the cheap test kit of uh, nitrate and ph phosphate. At that point, I took out the algae scrubber. So from zero to four weeks, there was no algae scrubber. And I was still uh, dosing five milliliters per day of no-pox. At the end of that four weeks, the nitrates went up to 10, the PO4 went up to 0.25, I started seeing green algae all over the tank. Ba-boom. So I said, I want, to do a, I want to continue this experiment. So right after this, I started dosing 10 milliliters per day of no-pox. There's still no algae scrubber running. So two weeks later, which is today, there's no algae scrubber, the no-pox has been at 10 milliliters per day for two weeks, and I just got a reading of five for nitrates and 0 0.25 for the, the phosphate. Less than, because this test kit, you can't 
you can't really tell. So uh, the key is the nitrites, they definitely have. It's very easy even for me to see, and I'm mostly colorblind. So the Nopox is working. Now, will it take it without the algae scrubber all the way back to zero? Well, I'm going to continue this experiment, but I won't bore you with the rest of it. But I'm going to continue dosing at 10 milliliters per day because I make this stuff myself, so the cost is not that bad. And uh, I'll, I'll continue doing this and see what results I can get. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. I'll see you later.